How many times have you roasted whole fish? Well, just like Julia Child says, don't be afraid. The next time you're in your grocery store or fish market and you see these beautiful whole fish resting on ice, buy one. Because today I'm gonna to show you just how easy it is to roast it and I'll show you how to fillet it too. guys, today we are roasting whole fish. So first to get started, you want to line your rim baking sheet with parchment paper. Spray it with a non-stick cooking spray. That way the skin side, well they're both skin side, it's completely whole, but that way the skin doesn't stick to the parchment. And then what you're going to do when you purchase it, just ask your fishmonger, they're more than happy to do so, is just remove the scales if they're not already removed. Have them gut it if it's not already gutted. And then you just want to snip off your fins. Again, you can ask them to do that too, where it will be completely prepped and ready for you really to just, just to toss into the oven. Well, I had my fishmonger do everything except remove the fins because I wanted to show you how to do that. So if for any reason yours has the fins, you just take your snippers and just clip them right off. You want to leave the tail on. I'm going to show you how easy it is to fillet it with that tail on. Flip it over and then just remove the other side of the fin. So this is about a two and a quarter, two and a half pound red snapper. And you can tell it's super fresh by its eyes. So come in closely, I want to show you. So you can see how beautiful and clear the eyes are. You want to see it, make sure it's not slimy. Make sure the gills are nice and vibrant red, just like that. And obviously it should not smell like fish. It should be very fresh. And now I'm just going to stuff it with some shallots. So this is just going to flavor inside of the fish, season it with salt and pepper. So you want to season the cavity. So just a little bit of pepper, not a lot. So we're going to season both sides. Just a smidge of pepper on top. All right, into our oven. So our oven is pretty hot, 425 degrees. So what's gonna happen when we roast this beautiful fish whole, it becomes really tender. It's the best way to eat fish. See how easy that was? Into the oven until it's cooked through. All right, now for our vinaigrette. So just a standard traditional vinaigrette, olive oil, freshly squeezed lemon juice. I have a little bit of shallot and I'm gonna add just a pinch of sugar just to cut through that acidity. So this is just a beautiful Mediterranean light and fresh vinaigrette. But I want to just chop up the shallot just a little bit before we put it into the blender. So you want to use a small blender or a vitamin nutrient extractor. That way we can pulverize the shallots and really make a flavorful vinaigrette. So we got a quarter cup freshly squeezed lemon juice, a good extra virgin olive oil, so about a third cup. Sugar, we'll season it after we blend it. So we have some fresh dill and parsley. We're going to just fold this right into our vinaigrette. Perfect. So it's been 25 minutes. Look at our beautiful whole roasted snapper. So this is about a two and a quarter, two and a half pound snapper and 25 minutes is all it really takes. So internal temperature, 
you want to just safeguard it and know it's cooked through. Should be about 145, 150. We're at 152. Perfect. All right, now I'm going to show you how to fillet it. But first, we want to let it rest for about five minutes. All right, so now it's time to fillet it. So you're going to need a fish spatula and two forks. You just want to run your fork along where the head is because we're going to remove this part here right along the back and just loosen the skin. So I'm going to remove the skin. And then under the belly, you just want to sort of, you'll see some bones, they'll start to come apart, they'll fleck off. And you just want to peel off your skin, just like that. Beautiful. So how do you eliminate all those bones? Patience. Just take your time. So you'll feel it once you run the fish spatula across the bones. You'll feel them. Just transfer it right over to your plate. All right, the reason why you keep that tail intact like that, go like this real quick. Just cut right there, boom. There you go. That's it. Remove the head, just like so. Looks prettier when you present it this way. Blood line down. Look at that. This is a perfect fish for two people, whether it's poolside, seaside, porch side, <laughs> wherever you like to enjoy your lunch with your loved one. Bottle of white wine. Look at this delicious, fresh vinaigrette. It's simple, it's fresh, it is so moist. You're gonna love it. So let's give it a taste. We filleted that. Look at all the meat you get. So yummy. I know it's yummy. Even before I taste it, I know it's yummy. I make this a lot. Mmm, we just need a little white wine. It's perfect. It's like butter. It's so tender. It's so moist. Oh my gosh, you are gonna love this. Dave, this is so good. For this recipe, head over to the newspaper's website. I'm Shreema Cook This. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.